Hello everyone. I am Shobhadeep Mukherjee. Today, the topic of my presentation is stress strain curve of mild steel. This is very important topic in civil engineering, and if we realize the behavior of stress versus strain, then the graph is most important graph for us. Okay, we we all know that. The mild steel is a low carbon steel. The carbon content of mild steel is only 0.2 percent. Okay, 0.2 percent carbon is only in mild steel. Okay, there the the test we perform in UTM machine. UTM means universal testing machine. The in UTM the there are two holders, one and another. The a, a specimen, the length of the specimen that is called gauge length is two inches, and the dia of the specimen is 0.5 inches. It is standard specimen, and the st a specimen is insert in uh, between two holders, and then the uh, uh, then then strain increases because this is strain control method test. Uh, we increase strength in the specimen and we see the stress behavior of the specimen and the stress behavior and the stress values are plotted in the graphs and when we plot the stress values in the graph and we get this curve this curve is called curve of mild steel this curve we get when we plot the stress uh, in graph, uh, stress value in the graph. Okay, this is main main thing. First, in this graph, the first point is A point, and the region OA is called linear elastic region, and the A point is called proportional limit. In this region, uh, in the, uh, up to A point, the stress is proportional to strain. It's follow Hooke's law, okay. And after then, at the point of A and B, the that region is called non-linear region, and point B is called elastic limit. Here, stress is not proportional to strain, okay. After that, we get we when we increasing strength. Here, we increasing strength and we see the changing values of stress here we see the changing values of stress and we get, uh, after b point we get c and c dash c and c dash okay uh, c and uh, sorry here this is c dash and c C dash and C. What is C dash? C dash is upper yield point. Okay. And C is lower yield point. C dash and C the there are two different point and two variation of stress. Two variation and two uh, different different stress point. In the why this is two different different stress point is there because it happens due to the slip of carbon atom in metallic bond. Here we all know that mild steel is a low carbon steel and due to the carbon content is uh, very low in then the voids of the um, uh, molecules are more uh, so the carbons are jump into one void to another void like this this carbon is here and this jump at this point to this point this jump at this point to this point due to more voids in this metal <coughs> okay this is this this jump uh, due to this jump the jump in stress also here due to this jump the jump in stress also is here okay after that uh, c after we getting c point uh, then the region cd is called yield plateau Okay, in Plato, in this region, we see that uh, the stress value is same, but the strain value is increasing. The strain value, the strain value is increasing. Okay, 
strain value is increasing and the value of stress is called yield stress this stress is called yield stress yield stress this stress is called yield stress okay then uh, in this region in this region the material behave a, a perfectly plastic material the material behavior is perfectly plastic okay after then uh, uh, after then be region is we be region we get in this region this region is called strain hardening region in this region in this region the molecules atoms are disorientation the uh, the uh, disorientation of atoms are here M means the carbon atom and the iron atom are totally uh, disoriented and the disoriented atoms are increasing the increasing the strength increasing the value of strength and due to the increasing of value of strength stress is also increasing stress is also increasing and the ultimate point that is called e and we get after that we get the ultimate point that is called e in this point the value of stress is maximum here we get maximum value of stress uh, maximum value of stress uh, this is called ultimate stress point this is called ultimate stress we we get two type of stress one is ultimate stress that is maximum value and the second one is yield stress that is uh, uh, here and yield stress after getting yield stress the material we see key, we see the material uh, the material excessive elongated the material excessively elongated excessively elongated okay and, and here we 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 get ultimate stress after uh, after ultimate stress the ef region is come and the what is the ef region ef region is necking region what is necking necking is in this region first first we see the specimen is this okay then we increasing strain then we increasing strain in the specimen after that we get the different different stress values different different stress values and we plot it okay so when we increasing strain after point e cross then the specimen cross section of the specimen reduced here we see the cross section of the specimen slowly slowly reduced and this is called and this is called making this is called this is called making the reduction of cross section after e point the specimen in the specimen the reduction of cross section okay and after that after the reduction of cross section after that the reduction of cross section at the point of f the, uh, the material is perfectly failed that is fracture point that is this point this point is called fracture point cup cone failure we know cup cone failure is here like what is cup cone failure cup cone failure is cup and this is cone this failure is called cup cone failure this is cup and this is cone okay this failure is here in fracture point and the material is damaged okay <coughs> here uh, we see there are different two stress value there are two different stress value that is one is ill stress and second is ultimate stress the ill stress of mild steel is 250 mpa and the ultimate stress of mild steel is 410 mpa okay 
मेगा पास्कल तो इन आफ्टर व्हेन द स्ट्रेस वैल्यू इज 250 देन द इलोंगेशन ऑफ द मटेरियल ऑफ द स्पेसिमेन इज इंक्रीजिंग टू 0.12 परसेंट टू 1.4 परसेंट मोर देन 10 परसेंट मोर देन 10 परसेंट स्ट्रेन इज हियर एंड आफ्टर देन 12 परसेंट टू 15 परसेंट एंड एट द एंड ऑफ द फेलियर टाइम द स्ट्रेन ऑफ द स्पेसिमेन इज 25 टू 30 परसेंट ओके <laughs> this is this is this is all and uh, why we uh, we take strain in x axis and stress in y axis why because strain in independent and stress is dependent so the, we uh, first we uh, we say that in this uh, uh, in this uh, uh, test we give strain in the material we give stress strain in the material and uh, we uh, uh, and the uh, and the material shows the values of stress and the uh, and the values of stress put in the graph and we get this type of curvature we always uh, so we always uh, put the uh, strain in x direction okay that that is all that is all from me that is a stress strain curve of mild state thank you this is very important topic in civil engineering this is taught in uh, uh, this is taught in uh, steel structure this is taught in rcc uh, sometimes it's taught in song so very very versatile structure very very versatile uh, topic uh, this is so thank you thank you so much thank you